Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another episode of Soul Food. There once was a man who was infamous for terrorizing people, for scaring people and hunting people down and beating them and stealing from them. He was a highway robber. He would wait for caravans to pass by and he would stop them, beat them, steal their money and sometimes even kill them. He would even break into homes in his own town. People were absolutely scared of this man. Once he was about to go meet this person and actually it was his girlfriend. And upon entering the house, he heard somebody reciting the verse by the Ulubi Lahim Shafar Rajim. Alam ya'ni lilladhina amanu an takhshaa qulubuhum li dhikri allahi wa ma nazala min al-haq. Hasn't the time come for those who believe that their hearts find humility and submissiveness in the remembrance of Allah and the truth that has been revealed down to them? He says, Bala'an. Yes, the time has come. And he declared his tawbah and his repentance to Allah Azza wa Jal. And later he became one of the most famous scholars and worshippers in Islamic history. His name was al fudail ibn Iyad. And some people even nicknamed him Abidul Haramain, the one who would be worshipping Allah the whole time, either in Mecca or in al Madinah. The fact of the matter is that this kind of story is not unique to al fudail ibn Iyad. If we look at the lives of the scholars and the great worshippers in the history of Islam, we find that they did not always have the best of relationships with Allah Azza wa Jal. Yet one day, they realize that they should make tawbah to Allah Azza wa Jal and repent back to Allah and change their life around. And hence, they became the best of scholars and the best of worshippers. There is an interesting narration where the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam actually makes dua against a person who reaches Ramadan yet is not forgiven by the end of Ramadan. And subhanAllah, how could a person be given such an opportunity, an opportunity of Allah's mercy and His blessings and His forgiveness, and He is unable to be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they fail in the pursuit of pleasing Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, say or tell my servants who have transgressed against themselves by committing sins, la taqnatu. Do not despair, do not give up on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For Allah azza wa jal forgives all sins. Indeed, He is most forgiving, He is most merciful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in another verse that describing the believers, He said, Those whenever they do an act of indecency or immorality or transgress themselves by committing a sin, they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right away. And they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive their sins. So Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in a narration that if you were not to sin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace you the people that sin, yet make tawbah and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. It is not that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes for us to sin. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves for us to make istighfar and to return back to Him in repentance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in a hadith Qudsi, O oh my servants, you commit sins by the day and the night. So ask me for forgiveness and I will forgive you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another hadith Qudsi, O oh son of Adam, if you were to ask me for forgiveness and you are hopeful in this forgiveness, I would forgive you and I would not care. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another hadith Qudsi, O oh son of Adam, if you were to come to me with an earth load of sin, as long as you do not associate any partners with me, I would come to you with an earth load of forgiveness. If we do not take the opportunity to go back to Allah and make tawbah to Allah in Ramadan and ask Him for a sincere forgiveness, when will we do that? Some Muslims unfortunately only make tawbah for Ramadan, for 30 days, or actually even for 27 nights only. And after Laylatul Qadr, they forget about everything else. This is not the true tawbah that we should be making. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu tubu ila Allahi tawbatan nasuha asa rabbukum an yukaffir ankum sayyiatikum wa yudkhilakum jannatin tajri min tahtihal anhar. O oh, you who believe, 
make a sincere, a complete tawbah to Allah Azza wa Jal so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive your sins and your mistakes and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will admit you to paradise, to jannah in which rivers flow underneath. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us a sincere tawbah and to grant us the path and the ability to continuously make dua and to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us and to admit us in Jannah. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode of Soul Food. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.